it guys, welcome back to New Zealand. First day of spring today, we just finished work, we've had absolutely 19 degrees. It's, it's like, it's strange in New Zealand, it really is, still not used to it. When the, when the season changes, it changes instantly, on, on a dime. There's no slow build up leading, it changes in, on a dime, it's crazy. So the first of spring today, the first day of spring today, and bang, 19 degrees. And it's been a cloudless, blue sky day, stunning. I've been working, just finished, it's coming up to 6 p.m. Uh, just on dusk now, so I've decided to have a drive to the hills. And I went a couple of weeks back to the hills to try and get some snowy, snowy mountain, snowy mountain shots. Unfortunately, on that occasion, uh, it didn't work out. We got some bad weather down there, and I couldn't even see the mountains, uh, so I kind of had to pull a pin on that one. But I'm going to link. Uh, I'll link above to that last video. So today, the mountains have been standing out beautifully all day. They're over to the west. Sunsets in the west, so as soon as the sun gets behind the mountains, you know, forget forget about getting any really nice shots. Uh, so I'm thinking, head down there now, park up, get up first thing in the morning, and uh, crack on with a few beautiful alpine glow snowy mountain photographs anyway that's that's it guys so i've got maybe maybe a 40 minute drive to where i'm gonna go uh absolutely buzzing for it can't wait hoping it works out the forecast looking good for the morning uh, hopefully fingers crossed we might have a little bit of lingering cloud on the on the mountain tops maybe i don't know we've got a little bit of cloud out there on the horizon now whether that stays for the morning who knows either way what i want in the morning is just that first first glow of sunlight hitting the mountain tops where the snow is. Uh, if I get that I'll be well impressed. We've got maybe a slither of a moon on its way back so uh, where I'm going just now is going to be fairly dark, it's quite remote so I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking I may get a few astro shots. Depends how I feel. I'm shattered to be honest. I've had a I had a long night last night, I've had a long day today, I'm absolutely shattered. I played tennis today, I'm in friggin' knees. The lads have run me about like a f oh, oof, knackered, my knees are knackered. Uh, but I'll be alright, I'll be good. Good night's sleep, I'll be back on it. Alright guys, so for now, from uh, a stunning Hawke's Bay in New Zealand, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it and I'll catch you first light in the morning. Kaki tail. Just coming up on sunrise, dawn didn't really do much. Just waiting for a gap to throw some light on the mountains. There's only two peaks really that I'm interested in, right in front of me, which is between two between two big foothills. Uh, that's got quite a bit of snow on top, but there's also quite a bit of cloud on top as well, which if if we do get this sun coming through, which we're gonna do, it's just a matter of when, it's gonna make a nice photograph, is that? And then there's one to my left over there, which is pretty clear. There's a bit of snow on top, but it's pretty clear. There's a bit of high level cloud over it, yeah, but it's not really affecting the photograph too much. So uh, chances are we'll make a shot out of that. Using the Canon gear today, and I've got the 80 to 200 lens on it, trying to drag in peaks just to focus right in on the peaks as best as I can. 